Hello guys, it's me the inside man from TechRun and this is the teardown video of the POCO M3. The POCO M3 is the first POCO device to debut in Africa and it's very interesting that the lineup is gradually making its way to the region. Well, I'll uh, just keep writing to getting to see what the inside of this device looks like and I'm super excited to see what the first POCO phone in the region looks like. The design looks familiar with the POCO logo uh, to the right and then the camera model is to the left. And uh, the device is made up of plastic back, glass front and plastic frame. Which is not bad for a mid-range device of this, uh, of this category. Yeah? Now the phone comes with Snap Qualcomm Snapdragon C62 chipset and it has a triple rear camera, 48 megapixel triple rear camera. So pulling the device, pulling off the back cover is very easy because it's rubber and there is no more it's seal uh, holding the device together. It's just a bunch of unclipping just like as you've noticed from the opening of the back cover. Now when I open this device, you will take note that there is a plastic back covering the camera module and the top motherboard. So what I will just do is take out the screws and uh, take out the top plastic so I will have a good look at the motherboard. Once that plastic is out of the way, I will just unclip the fingerprint sensor here. You just have to be careful so that I won't damage it because it also double as the power button. Next is the main board ribbon cable and then the battery ribbon cable can now come off. Now it's time to take out the massive 6000 mAh battery right so from experience i'll be using the putter this time remember my redmi 90 video where i tried to take out the battery and i end up damaging the main board ribbon cable well i'll link to that video in the description below so you get to see how the inside of the redmi 90 actually looks like now the focus of this device will have to be how well the cooling system is and by the way, if this is your first time of being here, don't forget to hit the subscription button and turn on the post notification. Now, these put tabs are uh, pretty hard, difficult to hold, but it's gradually making the battery to budge. So, with the help of my tool here, I think I should be able to just take out the battery with ease and good. So, that is just about it, which is pretty easy. If you are a gamer or a movie lover, this battery can take you for a very long time. You see those two black graphite tape in the board, in the uh, frame of the device. We'll get to that in a bit. For now, let me take out the plastic that is covering the bottom board so that we'll get to see what is at the bottom board. Uh, spoiler alert, the bottom board is where the main speaker is and a bunch of other accessories that make this device actually function pretty well. Now, this is the main speaker of the device. Is bigger than the one we seen in the Redmi 9. I will also link to that video in the description below the tender video so you get to watch it. Then this is the vibrator model right here. So the bottom board is kind of small, so I will just take out these uh, other ribbon cables and lift out the bottom board so we we'll get to have a proper look at the USB type support. And if you are wondering, yes, the 3.5 mm jack is at the top of the device. Now there is a, a rubber covering the type c port is to help against water spillage mind you this phone is no water resistant so don't go swimming with the device else you end up damaging your phone the main board of the device houses the 48 megapixel triple rear camera the chipset and a bunch of other things including the sim card tree all right so right here you will see this is the 48 megapixel main sensor and that is the 2 megapixel depth sensor 2 megapixel macro then up front is the 16 megapixel selfie camera that can take 1080 1080p video rather 1080p video at 30 frames per second the chipset of the device there is the Qualcomm Snapdragon C62 is covered by a, a copper tape and it also has some thermal pasting which is good now back to uh, the, the frame of the device you will see that the secondary speaker is neatly tucked in at the top of the device then it comes up from this top here so which means you have to experience a good quality sound system from this device now do you remember that graphite tape that i told you is in the uh, back of the device 
where the battery is placed that helps to make to cool the battery down when it's under every user which is pretty good a an efficient play system for the battery so this is the tear down video of the redmi 90 for the most part it has good camera setup it has good cooling system it has a big battery which is pretty nice but it's still an expensive device given its value because the redmi 90 has a quadra camera runs on the same chipset same software and it's cheaper but i'll link to those to where you can buy those devices in the description below so you can just check them out so if you are looking for value for money this poco device is good but the redmi 90 gives you more value for money so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification is me the inside man from TechRan, saying adios mi amigos i hope to catch you guys in my next one and remember to stay safe covid 19 is real and be good Peace.